We're going to talk about the strategic collaboration between FLIR Systems, the world leader in thermal imaging, the world's sixth sense, and DJI, who are the world leader in aerial imaging. And so without any further ado, I'm going to introduce to you Mr. Michael Perry. He's the Director of Strategic Partnerships at DJI, which is a pretty amazing company. And with that, off you go. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks. Thank you. Well, it's so nice to be here today. Thank you for coming out and uh, coming to listen to a little bit about our strategic collaboration with FLIR. How many of you are familiar with DJI? Have heard of us before? Oh, that's awesome. It's really exciting to see that number increase uh, every year. And the other question I often ask is, how many of you have actually flown a drone? Okay, we've, we've got a, a few, but I think by next year, we'll see over half of you raising your hands because the potential of this technology is growing by leaps and bounds. And to start things off, I want to share with you a few images that are pretty spectacular. And while you're looking at these images, imagine the, the fact that a few years ago, these types of pictures were the sole provenance of professional aerial photographers who needed a helicopter. And in order to get a helicopter, you need to spend tens of thousands of dollars. You need to go through all sorts of licensing and safety procedures. And now you can do this with a $1,000 quadcopter that you can pick up at Best Buy Apple or many other retailers. And that's really what DJI has really pushed forward, is taking complex aerial imaging technology and have brought it down to everybody. We've combined affordability, performance, and accessibility, making it easy to use in a way that was previously unavailable. Now, the cool thing about this is that it's not just beautiful pictures and great video that you see online that this quadcopter technology is opening up. By bringing the technology to people like you and me, you start playing around with it and you start thinking, wow, this technology is really perfect, not just for taking a cool shot, but it's perfect for my real estate business. It's perfect for my agriculture business so that I can precisely look at my field and better understand how to manage my crops. It allows me to inspect power lines without having to send a cherry picker up and risk a worker and take you know, tens of minutes to do something that a quadcopter can do in just a few seconds. So that's the really remarkable thing about this technology is that the innovation is being driven by the people that are dreaming bigger than just imaging. They're dreaming about the possibilities of what the technology can do. And DJI has been at the forefront of that in a really successful way. If you look at the amount of submissions that commercial UAV operators are filing to the FAA, over 70% of the airframes used by commercial operators are, you, are either DJI platforms or using DJI's flight controllers. And that's because we have been pushing into making the technology accessible and easy to use and easy for you to get up, try out, and experiment with. Um, but as we go forward, we're starting to look at beyond just the quadcopter as it is. What can it do beyond just take really cool pictures? How can we make it more bespoke for people so that they don't have to do any additional layers of customization or processing in order to make it perfect for their business or whatever application that they're trying to achieve? That's why last year we started really pushing our software development kit. And together with companies like Pix4D, Drone Deploy, Drone Scanner, all of these really amazing companies, they're developing software so that you can autonomously map 3D objects. This is actually a, a map developed by Pix4D, and the way it works is you have a map on your iPad, you select a polygon, and you say go. The Phantom automatically takes off, creates overlapping pictures, streams those pictures to the cloud so that by the time you get back to your computer, you have a 3D model that offers three to five centimeters worth of precision. And that's remarkable because that type of accuracy and ease of use used to take you know, several hours, if not days or weeks, in order to get that sort of intelligence. But moving forward, we've been thinking beyond just software, what else can we do to make 
our technology bespoke for some of these commercial applications that I been mentioned earlier. And that's why we're really excited to be uh, entering into a strategic collaboration with FLIR, the world leader in thermal imaging. As many of you might know, thermal imaging has a lot of advantages. FLIR obviously has the uh, moniker, the world's sixth sense, because it allows you to see and gather information about the world that aren't available to the visible spectrum. What does that mean? Well, obviously, with thermal imaging, you're not only able to see in total darkness. So even in dark scenarios where you cannot see, if all the lights were turned off here, you're all emitting a thermal signature. And FLIR's cameras are able to pick that up. We are also able to see through obscurance, like haze or fog, and even more crucially, obscurance like smoke. So that in firefighting situations, firefighters often use FLIR cameras to be able to search for um, their teammates, look for people that are trapped inside buildings so that they can do their jobs more effectively and more... Wow, that was a pretty good dubstep track that they're starting for me. Um, so you're able to save lives and do their jobs more efficiently and more safely. And then finally, you're able to measure temperature. And that seems like a really obvious thing for this technology to do, but when you think about what that actually enables, it allows you to look for, say, points of failure in a power grid. It allows you to identify leakages in a roof, heat leakages. You can identify faults in solar panels. So in talking to FLIR, we didn't want to just pay lip service to the fact that we're both leaders in our fields. We didn't want to just say, you're a great company, we're a great company, we're pushing forward the envelope of uh, seeing the world differently. We actually are excited to be working together to create the world's first uh, thermal imaging camera designed specifically for flight. That's why late last year we introduced the Zen Muse XT. The Zen Muse XT combines DJI's world leading experience in developing stabilized camera technology for the air. Using the Zimuse XT, you're going to be able to fly and create stabilized shots that not only are s consistent in the air, allowing you to see the camera great when you land on the ground, but we incorporated our video transmission technology so you can see what the camera is seeing in real time at a distance of five kilometers. Combine that with FLIR's world-leading thermal imaging technology, we think we have a truly powerful solution for a wide range of users who want to see the world and explore the world in a different way. I've presented here a few of the specific specs. Uh, we're looking at a wide variety of customization options for this camera. As, most crucially, we've got two different um, resolution op options, 640 by 512 and 336 by 256, and a wide variety of lens options so that you can customize the angle of the shot that you're going to need from the air. But beyond the camera itself, there, there's many people who have already been putting third-party cameras on top of our equipment and other aerial platforms. The challenge has been that it's not the, the camera that's a problem, it's how easy it, it is to use. It's how intuitive it is to get the information that's so important to first responders. They don't want to be fiddling with third-party components and soldering them together at the last minute in order to just do their job. And that's why we integrated the Zimuse XT into DJI's uh, Go app. This allows you not only to see what the camera is seeing at a distance of five kilometers, but you have total control over the camera and its parameters while it's in flight. So you can change the color profile, you can read the temperature, you can trigger start-stop for recording, take pictures, and opens a wide variety of options for precisely controlling the image while you're in the air. We've also uh, incorporated a, a variety of other features, including digital zoom, spot metering, specifically at the midpoint. So if you fly, actually I 
was flying on CNN earlier today, and the cameraman was asking me to get a heat reading off of one of his lights because he thinks it was malfunctioning. So uh, there's a lot of power that that immediate intelligence opens up for users. We've incorporated this uh, technology with FLIR's advanced image processing software. Using their, if you've looked at a thermal image, oftentimes the reading that you get out of it, just out of the thermal signature, is pretty muddy. But FLIR has been really dedicated to making sure that that intelligence that you gather is usable, it's comprehensible. So they offer contrast options, sharpening options, and even detail enhancement, so you have a precise view of exactly what the, captures, the image is capturing, not only in the air, but in post-processing. So when we designed the uh, XT, we didn't want this to just be uh, something that you need to uh, advance degree in mechanical engineering in order to get up into the air. We've designed this to be fully compatible with our consumer level quadcopters or professional uh, level quadcopters, including the Inspire One and the M100. Essentially, this uh, component twists onto the gimbal mount, you take off, and you're ready to fly again. If you want to land and get an RGB image of the exact area that you just flew over, just twist it off and put on your X3 camera that comes standard with the Inspire One or the um, M100. And as you can see, you have a variety of flight time options that opens up the ability to capture a wide field of imaging and uh, information. But I've talked a lot about what the technology is, but more fundamentally, what does it allow you to do? What kind of information, what kind of applications does this open up? Well, one of the main industries that was constantly pushing both DJI and FLIR to open up this possibility was in firefighting. Because in firefighting, getting real-time intelligence of how a fire is spreading is important. You want to know where the, the fire started. You can see where the, uh, the hottest point of the fire is. You can see what areas are cooler and are safer for the firefighters to enter. You can gauge the direction that the fire is spreading more easily in night times and areas where you have obscurance like smoke. So there's a lot of intelligence that firefighters need from an aerial perspective that otherwise they have to call in a helicopter and it takes too much time, it's too difficult for them to get set up. But beyond firefighting, there's a wide variety of industries that can use this technology immediately. Using uh, the thermal cameras plus technology like uh, PIX4D software, you can get very precise maps of your crops and be able to see pests where irrigation is not uh, optimal, and look at other patterns that might be worrying for the ultimate yield of the crops. You can uh, inspect power lines more easily, as I mentioned earlier, and then also inspect solar panels. There's a wide variety of industries that uh, this is really compatible for, and using our SDK, we think that our users will help define some of the very niche applications where this will be extremely powerful and game-changing. So when is this available? We hope to have this available by the end of this quarter, this year. We'll be announcing the pricing details closer to the launch time, the actual release time. And we'll be pushing this more specifically towards our commercial users. We're hoping that this will be a game changer for agriculture, inspection, insurance, and several other industries. Now, to wrap things up, I would like to say that this is not just a one-off deal. There's still a lot of opportunities to explore in this space, both with thermal imaging and aerial imaging. So this strategic collaboration will start with the XT, but I can guarantee you that much more exciting things are coming down the line. To finish up, I'd like to show you a quick video that outlines some of the things I just talked about, and more importantly, lets you see the Zimuse XT in action. It's no secret that DJI has led the consumer drone revolution, and if you've seen any kind of thermal imaging, chances are it was shot with a FLIR camera. 
Now we are proud to announce a new collaboration with FLIR, one that will transform aerial imaging for the industry. We are pleased to announce the DJI Zenmuse XT Thermal Imaging Aerial Camera. The Zenmuse XT combines DJI's expertise in camera stabilization, advanced flying platforms, and long-range video transmission with FLIR's state-of-the-art thermal camera technology, a first for the industry. The XT provides users with superior thermal imagery and sensitivity to better than a tenth of a degree. By integrating the XT with DJI's Inspire and Matrice airframes, we are giving people incredible precision and empowering them to put it into the sky almost instantly. DJI's XT camera has really been great. Being able to assess where the fire is immediately, we can also see how it's affecting the roof above, whether other parts of the building were even getting involved or how the fire was starting to travel through the building, all before making entry, so we have a better coordinated attack going in. The Zimmuse XT will be available as two separate models with two different resolutions, 640 x 512 and 336 by 256. The applications are endless. Aerial thermal imaging has become such an important tool for crop management. It's a non-invasive way to monitor nurseries and greenhouses, plan irrigation scheduling, uh, estimate fruit yields, and even detect plant disease. Using the XT along with the Inspire really is an incredibly efficient way to get all of this important data. In a search and rescue situation, every second in the air counts. Pairing the XT with a Matrice 100 would provide exemplary flight time, which means large amounts of area could be covered in one flight. Additionally, the Matrice 100 provides access to the DJI SDK, where tools like dedicated search patterns can be custom built. The Zenmuse XT camera is an excellent tool to have along the way. Our goal, of course, is to find the individual as quickly as possible. And the dogs usually are able to give us a direction of travel, so now we have an area to actually search and work. With the Zenmuse XT camera, the great substitution from utilizing a helicopter so we can use something that's much more affordable. The Zenmuse XT camera will empower a vast number of industries around the world to do their work smarter, faster, and safer than ever before. All right, everybody, thank you so much again. It was wonderful getting a chance to uh, share some of these details with you. If you'd like more information, uh, we have a Zimuse XT here, as well as downstairs at the DJI booth. If you just follow the escalator right here, it's right on your left. Thank you so much, and please pop by and say hello. Thank you.